All right, welcome back everyone to the Business Blast podcast. We have Hayden Haskins with us today. He's the marketing director at Haskins and Company, and I'll just dive into the questions. Uh, the first question we have for you, uh, Hayden, is what's your best piece of business advice? Uh, 100% of my best piece of business advice would be to trust your gut and outwork everybody else. And what's the number one thing you do to increase your productivity? Um, I use a lot of online tools, um, and I also just try to drink a lot of water. I, I know that sounds very simple, but uh, it keeps my brain sharp. I've noticed that whenever I'm foggy, it's usually because I haven't had enough water. Mm, I, I agree, and that actually is a perfect lead way into the next question is, what's your favorite online business tool? Uh, 100%, hands down, a thousand million percent, uh, it's a project management tool called Asana. Um, I would evangelize about Asana forever and ever and ever. Um, A-S-A-N-A dot com. They're amazing. Uh, I've run, started and built three companies on it. Um, and uh, it is one of the best tools I've ever used. There's all kinds of tools to do all kinds of stuff, but Asana just kind of keeps it real simple. And I always know what I have to do. Um, it's real, real easy. Yeah, no, that's all. I, I looked into Asana and I didn't uh, like use it yet. I use Basecamp currently, so maybe I might switch over now. You, you've kind of convinced me. <laughs> that's Dude, awesome. The, the difference between Asana and Basecamp, and I don't know how the design has changed, but I've used Basecamp before too. Asana has it all in one panel, and Basecamp, you got to go into the individual project, projects. you got to. Yeah. It takes you to another page rather than it all being in one place. Gotcha. That's the, that's the cool thing about Asana. And uh, what's your number one tip for increasing your physical health? Uh, I, I just take it back to drinking enough water, man. And yeah, it's key. <laughs> you know, you don't realize how many people walk around just completely dehydrated. Yeah, no, dude. I, I, it's something I've noticed with myself. And maybe this next question might be the same answer again. But what's your number one tip for increasing your mental health? Is it water? <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, nah, um, don't stress the small shit. I like <laughs> Stay focused on the top level goals, man. And in your opinion, what's the key to happiness? Key to happiness is balance. Balance. <laughs> and if you could give your younger self one piece of advice, what would it be? I'd give my younger self the same piece of advice I gave at the beginning of this, uh, to trust my gut. Uh, you know, I was in a business partnership uh, before and... Uh, my gut had told me that there were a few things that, you know, maybe I should look out for, but I kind of ignored them and because of the, you know, uh, the allure of all the, yeah. you know, I'll be frank with all the money. And, uh, you know, I, you know, you come to realize that, um, you know, if you trust your gut, I, I would have been in the same position I am now, um, just would have kind of been, been an easier road to get there. Gotcha. And what's the best business book you've read and the number one thing you learned from it? Oh, man. Um, uh, hmm. Stumped you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Um, so, uh, yeah, so I've, I've read... Um, you know, okay, this is a good one. Uh, Trust Me, I'm Lying by Ryan Holiday. Yep, um, I know that and one. And it's not like a specific lesson I learned. Uh, he's my favorite author, um, but it's not like a specific lesson. But it's a great book that anybody who's in business, I think, should read or, you know, I do the audio book. Um, it's all about manipulating the media and how to... Um, you know, get your story and your narrative out there um, and published. Um, and I think it's good, good, good info for anybody who's in business or, or needs to get attention or needs to uh, get an idea out there. Yeah, I agree. He's uh, one of my favorites as well. And the last question I have is, what's your favorite quote and why? Uh, my favorite quote. <laughs> uh, it's a uh, Frank Underwood quote, actually. It's uh, oh, yeah. shake with your right, shake with your right hand, but keep a big rock in your left. <laughs> <laughs> dude, thank you. Uh, dude, we did it in just the perfect amount of time. Thanks for hopping on. And where can people find you? What's your website? Our website is Haskins.co. If you got any personal injury attorneys or any attorneys of any kind, really, uh, that are listening. 
The podcast you just heard was made using Anchor. Ever thought about making your own podcast? Anchor makes it really easy for anyone to get started. It's a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing podcasts. Best of all, it's 100% free. Sign up now at anchor.fm slash new. That's anchor.fm slash new to get started.